February 7th will mark the first match for the Guyana Harp Eagles in this year's regional four-day tournament. They're going to be in St. Kitts at the Connery Cricket Center and they're going to be up against rivals Street and Tobago Red Force. But there's also greater context to this series regional four-day season. It's only second time since the PCL would have started the Professional Cricket League in 2014-2015 season that the Harp Eagles will play all of their matches away from home, taking out the usual uh, fortress that happens at the National Stadium Providence. It happened in 2022 when the regional 40 would have restarted after an abrupt end in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Last season, they managed to play at the back end at home when they regained the title. This year, a lot to play for also in the context of recent times in where the 40 tournament will be playing. They're heading to venues more known or most suited for faster bowlers. And speaking to head coach Ryan Hercules, the man on the mission to retain the title, uh, he's indicating that the Harp Eagles will have to assess conditions well and play day by day. Obviously, you, you go different territories and you know you just have to assess conditions. Um, I expect these guys you know, who are playing first class cricket and a few of the guys who play international cricket. And that's how it is, you know. So we, we get to the different countries and we assess condition and play, play the cricket on the day as it is. In terms of the, the preparation factor, the weather hasn't been on our side. Um, same as, as last year before we went, went to the, to the four-day tournament. So um, obviously, you know, we, we get to try to get more on the mental side of things for us. Um, whenever we do get any facility that we can get some work in terms of where we're going to play, we could make necessary adjustments in terms of how the skill set, in terms of what they do in the in the next session. In terms of, you know, we go to St. Kitts, you know, wickets might be on a bit on the bit faster side. So, you know, like I say, we, we'll just have to trust the process from what the guys been doing before we start the practice games going into the tournament. For this first encounter, they will have the services of Tage Narine, Chandra Paul and Kevin Sinclair, uh, two players currently in Australia. However, they won't have the exciting Fastball in Shamar Joseph, uh, the experience of Gudikish Moti and Tevin Imlak, as that trio will remain for international commitments. Uh, but Hercules is happy that he has some experience uh, coming back to the unit, given that to fill those vacant spots will be some young, inexperienced players. With the transition, with introducing the young younger guys, it's still important, you know, with a few senior guys around to share their experience. Um, obviously, it's, a, it's been a good thing that, you know, the senior guys who are in the West Indies team now, whether it be the Test or the ODI or even the T20, who, who are coming back to play in the in the white in the red ball setup. Sorry, so um, it's good to have a few senior guys around to try guide the younger players along that process as well. And like I would always mention, the is it the development stages for the for the younger players. So that's very good for me. Now the tournament has expanded from five rounds in recent times to seven rounds, given the introduction of the combined campuses and colleges and the West Indies Academy. So there are two more matches to play for, but according to Hercules, it's important to get a really good start if you're looking to win the title. Reporting for the newsroom, I'm Akin Green.